Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back. And today we are trying out a crafting experiment. It's going to be for candles. So basically what it will be is an olive oil water candle. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I saw something like this online and I thought it would be cool to try. So theoretically everything will burn. My concern is with the wick, but I'll tell you what I mean by that. So if you guys saw my does it burn orange candle video, I'll link it above if you haven't seen it, but I found out that olive oil makes a great oil to burn in candles and that eventually an orange candle will burn. So the idea is, this is going to be my candle. It's just a clear vase that I have. It's kind of a square, it's lovely. And I have this candle making kit that has wicks in it. So the idea is I'm going to attach a wick and have it come up, but instead of it sitting in a hardened wax for a traditional candle. I'm gonna pour in some water first at the bottom just for a little bit of weight and for, so that beautiful clear liquid can move around and create some movement. And then olive oil up at the top and this is what's going to keep the wick burning. Theoretically, it should work if I coat the wick with olive oil. I think maybe it'll work and it won't be touching the water, the flame won't, so as long as there's olive oil on top of it, which I can refill, theoretically that should work. My question is, is the wick going to be thick enough or stiff enough to stay upright and burn and not just like coil down to the bottom? I don't remember if these are waxed wicks or not. It's possible if it's waxed, maybe it will, maybe it'll float and there's not a whole lot of resistance in the water. It won't be hot, so there's nothing really to melt the wax, but I don't remember if they are waxed wicks or not. So we're going to find out today and we are going to do an experiment to see if this works. And here we go. So first off, I am just going to open up my candle making kit. It comes with all sorts of lovely things like the wax to make candles with, but we don't need that today. I'm gonna pull this open and get myself out one of the wicks. So these are wax, it looks like. It's going straight up and down in my hand, which you can't see because of my lovely background. There we go, so you can see it is nice stiff wick. So we are going to use that, pop this Oh, actually, I don't want to close that up. I need the wax to stick it in there, which is right here. There we go. So this is just a different type of sticky wax that you put at the bottom of here to get your candle wick to stick. Just gonna pull out a little bit of that on the fingernail. You really don't need a lot, but just enough to keep it stuck down. Put that back in there that up and we'll get that out of the way. Now I've got the sticky candle wick and the bottom of my wick and I'm going to put the sticky wax on there just like that and we're going to stick it as close to the center of the bottom of my vase as I can get. There we go. I'm going to press it down with some scissors. I did a pretty good job with that. It is at the center of the jar. So yeah, hopefully that works. What I'm gonna do first is just coat the whole wick with just a drop of olive oil. Maybe not necessary because it does have the wax on it, but I just wanna be sure and I know the olive oil will burn. So I just want to, uh, here we go, a little bit down that just to protect it. I'm going to pour in my water. I pre-measured this so I know it's not going to spill. Pro tip that I'm learning, pre-measure your ingredients. Put that there. So you can already see little droplets of olive oil on the top. My wick, however, is not staying center. I was a little worried about that, but it is still upright, so that's something. Maybe I can kind of re-bend it. I'm going to pour a little bit of olive oil on the top there. That's so cool. It just kind of floats to the top like that. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I'm going to do a close up and pour that again because it's super neat looking. Seriously cool. That looks awesome. Okay, that is just a really cool close-up. So I'm glad I did that. I cleaned up a couple of the other things. 
Now I'm going to trim the candle wick. I'm gonna try and make it stand upright as much as possible before I cut it. Not quite sure why it's got a bend in it, but if I can just get it to sit upright a little bit, I'll have better luck with this. Definitely gonna to need to clean my scissors. They are now coated in olive oil. I think this has a chance if I do it right. There we go. Maybe sort of slowly leaning, almost there. There we go, that seems pretty good. Now I'm going to trim it down to a safe level to burn, just about a quarter inch. That's what they usually advise. Put these off to the side here. And now the moment of truth. So for this, I think I will zoom back in so you guys can see it, but uh, I gotta say, if it does work, this is a really sharp looking candle. This looks really, really cool. I hope it works because this is just beautiful to look at. It's so liquid and glossy and I just absolutely love everything about this. It's so modern and chic looking that if this works, it's going to be a candle game changer. All right, here we go. You guys, I think it's working. This is so cool. The flame is getting a little bit smaller as it approaches the olive oil, but it hasn't gone out yet and the wick has stayed straight up and down. I think just the wax made it stiff enough, but this is seriously so cool and so beautiful. I'm super excited for this craft. And uh, yeah, I will let you know how long it burns for. I think as long as I keep the olive oil filled, it should just keep burning, but I will let you guys know that at the end. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now update on this little candle that could, my goodness, it has been going for probably 17 hours. I'm not even making that up. I actually extinguished it last night to go to bed and restarted it again this morning and it is currently 6 p.m. at night. Like it has been going non-stop. I have not refilled the olive oil. When the olive oil runs out, I'm guessing that's when it's going to hit the water and go out. I'm also guessing that I could probably make it last longer by putting in more olive oil, but it didn't start with that much and it is still going. So yeah, this is one little candle that'll last you forever.